Now, we don't know very much about Greenslade in Finland. Could you tell us uh, what is Greenslade's place in the British music scene? What is its place? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, what, what kind of following do you have there? Well, we started out really playing to university audiences uh, quite a lot up and down the country. But uh, in the last year or so, we've been doing some concert tours and reaching a much wider age group from, say, the age of 15 to 28, you know, or 30 years old, you know, which is quite a wide range now, which we were very surprised at when it happened. Um, and the, musically, we're, we're, we're not really a pop band. Uh, we have a lot of background, different backgrounds and influences, so sort of classical and jazz influences and rock influences as well, you know. Have you uh, made many tours anywhere? Uh, well, we've just come from Sweden, actually, yeah. We've been touring in Sweden for two weeks. And uh, we and just Norway. come... And Norway, yeah. We went to Nor Oslo as well, yeah. And before that, I mean... Uh, I can't remember that far back. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, do you tour in England? Yeah. Well, we're going to tour in May. Uh, we're doing another concert tour in May after America. Are you expecting uh, any special... Anything special from this uh, performance in Finland? Um, I think it's the first venue that we played, which is uh, a real concert hall with a, a stage capable of taking all our equipment and our stage props. Uh, we have a, an impressive backdrop and uh, we like to have a bit of space on stage. You know, we're not the biggest band in the world, but. Uh, we like to stretch our feet. Greenslade is uh, best known, I think, uh, with uh, uh, kind of straight instrumentation, two sets of keyboards. Mm -hmm. How much uh, do you have equipment anyway? Keyboard, we have about seven keyboard instruments at this time. And uh, we're going to add maybe one or two more during the American tour, which commences in April this year. Well, uh, can you tell me what are those equipments? Um, another piano and uh, an instrument called a brass man, a brass synthesizer. Mm. Simulates brass sounds, for example, trumpets, trombones, maybe tubers, things like that. Mm. Do you think that uh, Greenslade sound lacks that brass sound, for instance, something like that? Um, not really, it's just that we move on all the time and we like to add new colours. And uh, if a certain instrument is better for the actual piece, then we'll use it. But we don't know until we try these things. We break new frontiers all the time with the keyboards. And keyboards are becoming more popular in the world. And so uh, they're bringing out new instruments all the time. And we have to keep up with them. Yeah. And we like to keep up with them. And how, what uh, kind of keyboards do you have with you now? Uh, we have a synthesizer two electric pianos, a mellotron, an organ, a string man, a clavinet. Well, uh, how did this uh, thing happen that you came together with this kind of instrumentation, anyway? Well, I wanted to form a keyboard band at the end of another band that I'd been playing with for three years, and then we split up. It was a band called Colosseum, which in fact came to Finland and played at the festival in Turku about four years ago and I wanted to form a keyboard band and got together with David to see if it would work you know and about two years ago and it did we found it did work mind you we've developed a long way I think in the two years and uh, this is true and uh, we, we found ev everybody thought we were rather crazy at first because uh, we didn't use a guitar player out the front you know sort of playing very loudly and stuff but um, in fact, it's worked okay, I think. Well, I hope the people in the concert house tonight uh, decide that they, it well, works. How do you create the sound? I mean, uh, in a way, uh, what, who does the composing and uh, how do you put the keyboard ideas together and the other ideas? Well, Dave that? usually comes up with a chord sequence and a melody and I put lyrics to it or a melody and lyrics to it and we thrash it around in the rehearsal time uh, with the aid of our percussionist and uh, bass player, player, Martin Brani. 
but uh, we, we, as you say, we, we thrash it around because there, there is a lot to, to cut out, but there's also a lot of things to add dynamically, and um, it's quite difficult sometimes to get the right percussion part, isn't it, Andrew?